Okay, so I got slightly glammed up for you, and I'm gonna try to not shoot this, you know, looking at my nose the whole time, so sorry about that. Um, as you can see, I have my beautiful turban on. It's just a really long black scarf that I think I got at Target. Um, underneath that is the plastic wrap, which you can see sticking out right there. Um, so I've got to wait, I think I have like three more hours with this on my head. And um, I think I mixed my henna a tiny bit thin, which will not affect the color, but it may um, sort of like start to run, but it hasn't run yet and it's been an hour, so I might be okay. Um, the reason that you want to do this whole business here is because the henna needs to stay warm and wet. So um, the plastic wrap obviously does that and then the scarf or turban, whatever, you could use a ski cap. Um, that just kind of, you know, helps keep the plastic wrap on and it also insulates it. So that's pretty much the whole thing. I can't really think of anything else to tell you at the moment. I just had a text asking to see the henna on my hair and um, maybe when the three hours is up and I take this off I will show you that whole business. It's um, pretty nasty looking. It just kind of looks like you took mud and rubbed it all over your head. And that is basically what you've just done. So anyways, oh there's one more thing I wanted to say and that is that this mix that I did today, even though this is the same color that I normally get from the exact same website that I always order from, um, it looked a little bit different in the bowl and that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I'm hoping that it doesn't mean anything. Um, so we'll see. It was a little bit brighter brown, more on the orange side of brown um, when it released the dye. So I hope that mean that doesn't mean my hair will be an orangey red. Um, you know, you saw my hair before. It aside from the gray, it's basically auburn. So we'll see. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen? The whole thing, you know, it's kind of a science experiment. And I also um, just want to tell you if you decide to go this route that. You can get your henna from any place you want to get it from. I get mine from Mendy.com and uh, I think I linked that in um, Henna for Hair Part 1. I can put it up again. I personally love their henna. I love Katherine Cartwright Jones who runs the entire thing. I think she has fantastic standards for her henna. but. You don't have to use that. You can use anything you feel like using. You can get your henna from anywhere you want to get it. This is my disclaimer. So if you get your henna off the shelf at an ethnic grocery store and um, it doesn't work out, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I highly recommend Mendy.com. You can go on the internet and you can find information. Um, wrap your head, don't wrap your head. Use lemon juice, don't use lemon juice. Use tap water, don't use tap water, whatever. There are so many different things that you will find out as you read. Um, there's a community on mendy.com and you can ask any question you want to ask. You can look at questions that have been asked. I personally found it to be a wealth of information and I really felt safe doing my henna for the very first time like two years ago and I've never had a problem. The only problem that I ever had was my first mix I did it with lemon juice and it really dried out my hair because my hair tends to be on the drier side. So after that, I just started mixing it with tea, as you saw, and I never had a problem again. Um, so that being said, you can get your henna anywhere you want. 
you can make your mix any way you want. You can wrap your head or not. It is your hair. Um, what I do is 100% safe and that's why I do it. I do it this way because I'm very hair obsessed. I don't want to ruin my hair. I have been coloring my hair since I was 13. I've been using box colors and box bleach since I was 13. I have done my hair myself about 99% of the time. I have colored my own hair. I've only ever ruined my hair maybe a handful of times throughout that period of time. Um, but I got to the point where I became allergic to the chemicals in the hair dye. That's why I do this. I'm not allergic to it. The last video I mentioned about doing a test and what I meant by that was testing the henna on your skin, making sure that you're not allergic. You're probably not allergic. There's like a 1% chance that someone will be allergic. So test yourself. Take some hair out of your brush. Test that. See what color your hair is going to turn. Maybe you won't like what color it's going to turn. Once you do it, it's there. The only way to get rid of it is to cut it out. Henna does not wash out. So um, it's a commitment. It's an entire day commitment if you decide to do this. You have to know it takes, the way I mix mine, it takes four hours to release dye. It takes four hours on my head. It's an entire day. I know that going into it. So do your research. Make sure that you're happy before you put it on your head. And then when you do put it on your head, hopefully you'll be happy with the results. I love my results. I would never go back to box color again. I would never go back to the hairdresser for color again. Um, but if I wanted to, I could. Because of the henna I use, I can color my hair with color, you know, regular color, over top my henna because of the way I do it. I really never see myself ever doing that. Maybe when I'm like, I don't know, 85 and don't want to do this anymore. Who knows? Um, but, you know, a lot of hennas that you buy off the shelf are not necessarily going to be real henna. It may have heavy metals in it. Mine doesn't. I know it doesn't. It comes certified from the lab that it is pure henna. So that's why I highly recommend Mendy.com. All right, anyways, sorry, that was a huge long speech. I did not mean to go into that all, but I think it's important to know. So that's it. I'll see you a little later, and maybe you will get to see the mess that's under my beautiful turban, and maybe you'll just see it after it's washed. I don't know yet. All right, bye.